Hey everyone, it's Reed, and I got a quick video here. And in the last time I reviewed these rich solar panels, some people had asked us, you know, how it comes and some other things. So I figured since I ordered a new set that I had to start using for another panel array I'm building, and yes, I will show you as we put it together, but I figured I'd show you what the heck these things look like as you get them in the box, how they come, and everything else. So I bought four, and so that means it's two two by boxes. So the box looks like this from the outside. We'll get over here. All right. So this is about how wide it is. There's kind of the back. Yeah, it's upside down. But yeah, so there. And we'll open this up. Now here's what it looks like just on the top as we open it up. All right. They actually do a nice job packing it. So the glass is facing right here. Here's where the glass is and the panel piece is right between here. This is the nice gap on the side. Okay, so you got a gap here. So you can actually have some damage to the outside of the box and it's not going to actually impact the panels and whack them, which is really important. Now let's pull one of these out and I'll show you. Okay, and so here is a panel just pulled out. There's the back, and then here's the front. All right, so you see that? Now this is the one of the 100 watt monocrystalline, and it pairs really well with the panels I already have. Now pairing panels together, when you have different modules to get them to work, there's a little bit of math involved, and we'll do a video covering that, how to pick them correctly, so you actually get the right output that you need for your solar array. But yeah, so there it is. Now this is really nice. I really like these ones and so they're a good fit. Now, if you have different panels that you're trying to match up to, you're gonna have to probably pick something different, but this might work, this might work. We'll get the back label here. So there's that. Here's the wires and such. And let me, I've done this before, but I'll pop it off again. Well, if I can get my uh, fingers in here. Sorry guys, big fingers. <laughs> there you go. So there's the inside. We got the bypass diodes and all that. Uh, the connections look pretty good. Yeah, they look pretty good. Some big pieces of solder there. I'll probably poke at that because I'm an anal retentive SOB and I always check everything out to extreme conditions. But yeah, very nice. Uh, the price on these was nice and good. I got them for $160 for the pair. And I'm really happy with that. And I'll put a link in the description. You can go check it out. You can go grab them from Amazon. That's where I ordered these from. And really happy. And when we get this all hooked up, and I'll show you the math and how we pair these up and how it works on the charge controller and everything else. So stay tuned for that video. Take care, everyone. Read out.